welcome to my channel the learning destination and i hope you all are doing fantastic today and today i am going to cover very interesting topic that is called the chat board and this whole session is going to be a big fun and i'm sure you are going to enjoy this session so without any further delay let's start this session for starting it let me put here one question why you should create it why am i creating it let me introduce one real time scenario let's suppose that there is a one housing society called lotus and there are 500 family members are staying in that society now all the society members they need some daily uses item details let's suppose that they need some dairy product item details they need some uh, doctor details someone wants to learn dance classes so they want the contact details of the dance classes someone wants the laundry services then there is a two ways to get these details one they can simply go on the internet and can collect the data can collect the contact details second one is that they can ask from their neighbors they can ask to each other in such a way they can share the informations right so why can't we create one centralized platform that can solve all these kind of queries right so here the concept of the chatbot comes in the pictures so for the lotus we will design one chatbot which can serve all these kind of queries to the people who are staying inside the lotus building so now let's see that how we can create the chatbot and how we are going to help the people who are staying in the lotus building okay, so now we are going to learn that how we can create the chatbot okay so firstly you need to go on the google and you can say dialog flow console login i already logged in just i am showing you the way that how you can get inside the console so if you see in another tab, I already logged in. And from here, you need to create one uh, agent here. So there are two kinds of agent you can create under the dialog flow. One is the CX base, which is the newly introduced. And uh, second one is the essential. So I'm going to create on essential base. So I say create new agent. And we are going to give it the name Lotus because that is the name of our building. And this agent is being created on the purpose to serve the request of the people staying inside the Lotus. So it's not going to take much more time, maybe one or two minute maximum. Okay, so now it has been successfully created and you can see that we are under the Lotus agent. Okay. Now there are two things to create the chatbot. One is the intent and the entities. And this is going to be a very simple chatbot. So that's why I'm not going to cover in depth about the dialog flow uh, chatbot. Okay, so there are, are other, uh, we can say the features under the dialog flow, which I'm not going to cover. I'm going to cover only the intent and entities. And by using these two uh, functions, how you can create the simple chatbot that I'm going to show you. Okay, so now you can create the intent here and uh, intent. So I'm not going to cover about this context and events and probably you want, you can put in the comment sections and then probably I will cover in my next video. So there are two things that you need to uh, cover in these sections to design some one simple chatbot. And I'm going to add some training phrases Training phrases is what your chatbot could understand the word. And second one is the response. And response is what that, that how your chatbot uh, uh, will respond your queries. So let's suppose that the, uh, the people are staying in the uh, Lotus building, they need some daily product details, right? So uh, under the intent sections, training phrases, I'm going to put what daily product, and I'm going to add the uh, particular uh, we can say some word. So we have following uh, dairy uh, details or you can say dairy uh, product or dairy shop details. Okay. And it's this, these words are totally depends on you, how you are going to categorize this, how standard you are going to put it here. Okay. So uh, we can say simply we can put here uh, like uh, number here some random number here as well or you can in more standard way you can put here 
please reach on and then you can give the number some randomly i am putting some number here okay and let's say save now you need to create the entities as well okay so why entities is required because let's suppose that uh, someone is just typing here i want dairy details or someone hey any any shop near any dairy shop nearby lotus building right so in such a way if you create the entities it will help chatbot your chatbot could easily understand the word dairy right so that's why that's how the entities is going to help to your chatbot so i am simply going to create one chatbot so uh, entity sorry so as of now if we search by the dairy word there is no entity so what i need to do is i need to create i need to create the new entities i say dairy it is not there create new okay and you can put here dairy and you need to select this one so even if you type wrongly also it it can be identified by your chatbot and say save see that your uh, entity has been successfully created now return on intent and uh, sorry so i forgot to give the intent name here so by default it has been selected as a dairy product as all else while creating the intent uh, you can put the name as well so no worries we can continue with the same intent now you need to click here and now if you find out right dairy it will show you because this entity has been already created and you can select here okay save it so let's try it i say hi and it is responding my hi message good day what can i do for you today and basically it is taking these details because there is a by default one welcome intent is created by the dialog flow itself and it is responding from here okay so we got the answer of the hi now i want to i want dairy details okay let's say so you see it is responding the message the response which we mentioned so the people from the lotus building they want the dairy details right they are simply asking with the chatbot hey i want the dairy details and chatbot is responding with the uh, particular the contact details so you can reach it on this particular number okay now add second field let's suppose that they want laundry service and you can put here we have following laundry service and put some number here randomly i am just putting anything and say save in the same way you need to create entities for that one also for laundry you can come here and if i search as of now since it is not exist that's why it is not showing so what i am going to do is i will create laundry entities so you can see here the laundry entities has been created now i go back in my intent dairy product and in the same way i select the entities and i will put here as well i say save now if i try again uh, any nearby laundry service let's see how our chat will respond so now you see that it is responding we have following laundry services okay let's check once again any nearby dairy product dairy shop so you see now it is giving the dairy shop details then it 
uh, then if I say simply laundry service, it will give me the laundry services details. Okay, so this is the simple chatbot and I hope you are enjoying these sessions. Okay, is it? Uh, just mention in the comment sections. Okay, so now we are going to see that how we can integrate this chatbot to any messaging services like WhatsApp, Facebook messengers, uh, then Telegram and there are other resources that you can integrate this chatbot to that platform. And in our case, we are going to integrate it with the Telegram and now we are going to see that how we can integrate this chatbot to the Telegram. Okay, so let's start. Now, in order to integrate with any messaging platform, you need to go under the integration sections and under the integration sections, you can find out all the platform that you can integrate this chatbot. Okay, so since I'm going to integrate it with the telegram and I say telegram, I click on the telegram and now it is asking me the token. So now we are going to see that how we can generate the telegram token. And for that, you need to log in on the web version of the telegram. I say telegram web login. I logged in here and you need to go something on bo boat father. You can type here boat father. You can hear start chat. Okay, so here the command is already given that. So since we have to create the new bot, right? So we can give the name slash new bot. Or you can, or we can simply click here as well. Okay, all right, a new word. How we are going to call it? So it is asking, what should be the name of your chatbot? So let's say in our case, it should be Lotus. So we are going to put Lotus. Okay, now let's choose a username and I say, okay, my username will be Lotus only. It is saying that the bo underscore bot is necessary. So I put Lotus underscore bot saying that this user is already taken, no worries. Okay, let me give some Lotus 02 underscore bot. Okay, so now you see that it is giving the token as well, right? So firstly, you need to copy this token here. And you can come here and you can put this token here and you can say start. Okay, and there is a, you will find it, congratulations on your new board and it is already giving the link of your, uh, of your chat board, right? So you can go here and you can start chatting. You. So you can see, now I say hi. So it is responding, hello, how I can help you? I want dairy shop details. So now you can see it is the responding, responding the, the response which I have mentioned here in our intents. Dairy product. You see, it is responding the same. Now, let's suppose that I want laundry details, okay? So now you see, it is responding the details, which is mentioned here. So now, so that means that your telegram is directly coordinating with the chatbot that you have built it here, right? So in such a way, like, uh, uh, you can uh, join this uh, telegram uh, group right and that's how you can get the details so this is the whole about the integrations of your telegram to the chatbot so that's all for this lecture and i'm sure you enjoyed this sessions so what are you waiting for just go and create your own chatbot and share with your family and friends so that's all for this lecture guys. If you like my videos, then please do subscribe my channel, share and whatever you have the queries, you can simply 
ask me in the comment sections and i will solve your queries on this chatbot so till the time thank you so much for watching this and i will see you in my next video till the time bye bye take care and enjoy sunday with your family bye bye